Scorpios. Come on in, Scorpios. Come on in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the Empress, and I'm happy to have you guys here with me today. All right, so we're going to take a look into what's coming towards you for December 15th through the 30th. All right, so you guys make sure that you leave me a thumbs up, leave a comment if this message resonates with you, okay? If you're new to the channel, click the bell to subscribe, okay? So this is for December 15th through the 31st, all right? So what messages do we have for Scorpios? These are messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising, okay? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What messages do you have for Scorpios? What messages do you have for Scorpios? Sun, moon, and rising Scorpios. Bottom of the deck, guys, we have engagement. Okay, so your love life is ascending to a high level of commitment. So some of you guys are going through in love or possibly getting engaged or you're leveling up in your relationship. Okay. What additional messages do we have for Scorpios, please? Give me clarifiers for these cards that I have here for Scorpio. All right, Scorpios. What additional messages do we have for Scorpios? This is for December the 15th through the 31st. What does Scorpios have to look forward to? What messages do you have for Scorpios? December 15th through 31st. All right, Scorps. Scorps. Bottom of the deck, guys, we have dun, 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 the judgment card. All right, so this is a wake up call. This is a second chance on something. This is having an awakening, okay? A realization moment. Okay. Hmm. Some of you guys decided in the past that you didn't want to break up with someone. Oh, excuse me. You didn't want to break up with someone or you didn't want to break someone's heart. But I feel like some of you have decided to free yourself and take back more control, have more control over your own life here. I feel like presently... I feel like there could be, we have calling in your soulmate, okay? So the clarifying cards for that is the Seven of Swords. Now the Seven of Swords does talks about um, manipulation, lying, cheating, sneaky energy, and it's paired up here as well with um, the Hierophant card, which is the card of Taurus. Um, but this talks about a marriage or a, some type of commitment or doing something in a traditional way. Okay, so I feel like there could possibly be um, some some sneakiness or some lying about possibly someone being married or someone's lying about something, a commitment here. Someone is not telling the truth here. Someone isn't being honest. But I feel like going into the near future, we have love yourself first. You are trying to manifest a more free spirited. You're trying to manifest. You're putting in that work and that effort to manifest your desires. Okay. We got the queen of wands here. So this could be fire energy. Um, Someone that you're trying to call in. Maybe this is a soulmate that you're trying to call in. Possibly they could be a fire sign. Um, Male or female. But just someone that's more fun, free, um, go-getting, you know, that passion, okay? You're trying to manifest something more passionate. But I feel like you are deciding that you are going to put yourself first, okay? You're going to go after what it is that you want. You're taking back more control over your life. 
um, and you're doing things your way is what I'm getting. You're trying to manifest your own desires. Please give me some messages for Scorpios for December 15th. Ooh. Maybe some of you guys are feeling trapped, okay? Are feeling stuck in a situation, okay? Please give me additional messages for Scorpio. What messages do you have for Scorpio? All right, maybe there could possibly be some competition here or some conflict, okay? That needs to be worked out, that needs to be balanced out here with this justice card here at the bottom of the day. Justice card is also the card of Libra. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Libra. But I feel like some of you guys are trying to balance out some type of conflict, okay? Maybe some of you guys are dealing with support systems or dealing with um, something in court or dealing with um, something legal, a legal matter, okay? Cards are just popping out for y'all. Right, I feel like some of you guys are definitely trying to manifest something here. And I'm picking up on fire signs really heavily. Um, Leo Sagittarius Aries. So some of you guys could be dealing with a fire sign, definitely. Maybe you're dealing with some temporary issues here. What messages do you have for Scorpios? Okay, guys, there we go again with this justice card. This is the card of Libra, but this does talk about the court system as well as trying to find some balance on a situation. Maybe you're waiting for something to be balanced out or waiting to hear something back from about something involving court or the judicial system or whatever it is. It could be something legal. Um, but I feel like some of you guys are waiting for something to work out, waiting for something to balance. Oh, wow. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Juicy. Right off the bat, I'm sensing uncertainty. I feel like there's an indecision in regards to whether or not if about a bond or a relationship. Okay. There could have been a breakup here. I'm sensing a breakup. Or maybe you're not wanting to break anyone's heart or you're not wanting to break up. Yeah, you're trying to avoid a disaster here. And it is involving a partnership. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with the fire sign. Leo, Aries, um, Sagittarius, okay? Some of you guys are deciding to leave out of this house or leave out of this marriage or leave. Some of you guys are deciding to abandon this situation. This situation needs healing. And need balance, but you're just you. I feel like in your desires is whether or not if to, if you're going to give this another chance, or there needs to be a reevaluation. Okay, another decision needs to be made, and I feel like some of you guys are being patient about that. But I'm definitely sensing there could be an Aquarius involved too here as well. But I'm sensing like maybe there could be financial issues as well um, going into the near future with this four of wands and this five of pentacles. Um, immediately, I felt as like someone getting put out of the home or put out, um, walking out of the home or abandoning the home or there definitely could be financial issues here. This four of wands does talks about stability being clarified with that five of pentacles. The five of pentacles talks about when there's a rough patch, okay? Or you're being abandoned or rejected. Why is the two of swords here? We got the three of wands. So this talks about waiting for your ships to come in. But we're here paired up here with this two of swords. This is like not sure if you want to wait. This is like, you know, I'm stuck at a fork. At, I'm stuck in a fork in the road right now. I'm not sure what's taking so long or why am I here? Or why am I waiting on this situation? Why is the two of cups here? And here is this justice card again. Okay, so I'm sensing that there's something that's a heavy load here that's a burden something is burdening here um and it could be taking a long time for something to get situated 
and you you could be feeling like you know what i don't know what i what's taking so long i don't know what's taking so long here something has fallen apart or you're trying to avoid a disaster um and like i said it could have something to do with the court system or there could be a libra involved but there is a sense of trying to find some type of balance here why is the justice card here the justice card also talks about karma as well why is the justice card here yeah i'm sensing like some of you guys could be dealing with child support or spousal support here or giving the court system something or giving um because we have the six of pentacles which talks about give and take okay then pair up under that we have the hierophant which is like doing things the right way doing things traditional way so it's like feeling the need to do things for something to be done the right way something is taking a long time here to get figured out or to get done um and it's feeling like a disaster like something is like fall, i'm sensing like fell apart something this happened out of the blue this was something that just came out of the blue maybe some of you guys are hoping that it's something could i'm sensing now that this is coming together i'm sensing that this could possibly even be uh financial wise as well maybe some of you guys are um trying to hold on to your coin or get things figured out with the, about your finances. But I do feel like that a judgment here with this judgment card and this justice card, both of these cards here being in a reading for, I'm just really, really sensing like the court system or I'm sensing like legal, something legal. Okay. Or like I said, some of you guys could be trying to balance out the situation um and you're waiting for a decision here or a second chance or um something to be revived or looked over where's the moon card here We have the nine of swords, which talks about this is really like pissing you off or making you feel worried, okay? On whether or not the situation is going to be under control. I'm definitely sensing like a fire sign could be involved. So we have the Queen of Wands as well with the Emperor. The Emperor is the card of Aries. And then with that Queen of Wands, that is definitely fire energy. Um, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. So I feel like some of you guys are going to be trying to get things back stable um, or some of you guys are deciding that's just for one. That's just for a few people. But some some of you guys are possibly even deciding to um, it could be financial or some of you guys are deciding to walk away from a situation or reject a situation that possibly has something to do with family or home life. Let's see. What additional messages do you have for Scorpio? Please give me a past, present, and future for Scorpios. Okay. Knight of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, but this is hasty movement, okay? This is things happening quick. Um, maybe there's some communication coming in um, or some news that came in like really, really quickly. Something is definitely a burden um, here. But I feel like, okay, I feel like going into the near future, the worrying is going is going is going to be a halt to whatever the situation is and whatever is worrying you guys. I do feel like you do want to drop a load or you do want to <laughs> that didn't sound right. That sound like something else. But you do you guys do want to 
get that heavy load off of you. OK, there's something that's burdening here um, that could have been causing you some type of worry or frustration. But I do feel like the worrying and the frustration is going to cease. OK, so it looks like things are going to get panned out going into the near future. OK, that's what it looks like. I feel like something could be bothering you now. Um, but I do feel like going into the near future, things will be resolved. All of the worry and stress will come to a cease. All right. So that is you guys. It's reading for December the 15th through the 31st. OK, if you would like to book a personal with the Empress, the information will be in the drop box below. OK. All right, guys. Ciao for now.